Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create thousands of art off of one prompt through AI. Now, this is pretty cool. Now, just a little FYI, the way I do this is I use two different tools, and I'm not sitting here and telling you to go buy two different tools. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just simply making an entertaining video showing you guys what I'm doing for fun. Um, I think it's really, really cool, and you guys can do this as well. You can have a lot of fun with it. And both of these softwares have free plans that I know of. Leonardo AI is the first software. Uh, from my knowledge, they currently do not have a uh, paid plan, so you can hop on there for free. And Playground AI is a f uh, has a free tool aspect to it. So you guys can do this, absolutely can do this. And if you already have a paid plan to Playground AI, go ahead, sign up on Leonardo for free, get this system rolling, all right? So I found, and once again, like I said, I'm not gonna sit here and say you guys should buy two tools, because I'm not gonna sit here and recommend that. I just like to use two different tools, three different tools. I, I like to try different things, put it that way. So like I said, not trying to promote something out there. And also, I don't have affiliate links to these products. I, I don't have any kind of promotional links. I don't get paid to do these videos. I just enjoy straight up doing them. So let's go ahead and have some fun. This is a picture of a bird that really caught my attention. I really, really like it. And um, this is the prompt, and this is the negative prompt. And I looked over here. There's no initial image. That kind of means that the prompt is really, really strong with a typical regular stable diffusion uh, model. And from what I could see here, this is using the fine-tuned model, the RBG, RPG 4.0 which is actually a very diversified model. And when I say model, just understand that when you create different models on Leonardo AI, it's training the, the system based on different images. So you could see here this photo with no initial image. Very, very cool looking, in my opinion. So I'm going to take this image and we're going to play a test or play a game here. And we're going to take it and we're going to put it on Playground AI from image to image conversion. We're going to decrease the strength just a little bit, make it like a 28. And then we're going to see what results come up and how you could actually make thousands of pieces of art. So what I like to do is the first thing I'm going to go over here and generate the number of images is always going to be four. And quality and details, I'll leave it like 84 is perfectly fine. I'll just leave it there for now. Now, if you're a pro member, you could go over 50. Uh, if you're not a pro member, it's going to be hard to do that. So just keep that in mind. All right. Um, but generally, I mean, quality is honestly pretty good at Playground AI if you're not going anything like lower than you know, 45, I would say. So right now I'm generating four different versions of a regular stable diffusion creation of this image. And these are the creations that came up. Now, granted, I could use some of them. This is the one I'd probably use the most. And this is the, uh, maybe this is like second or this is second. And then th this one is probably like last. But now what I like to do is now I can create this again or I can go over here and create different variations. And this is how you can literally create thousands of different images from one prompt, right? You could see here one prompt and then one negative prompt. And if you didn't see my video on negative prompts, I created one on the smaller channel yesterday, the DIY income tutorials channel. And you could see here once again, guys, the second level of creation. But back to what I was saying, um, you can go check out my second channel, guys, uh, DIY Income Tutorials. I'll leave a link to that video about negative prompts just to teach you how to do them properly. But anyways, um, this is a second batch of photos with the exact same settings, like nothing different. And it, they look consistently better. Like if you look at them, um, let's see here. This one looks better. This one looks better. Even the ugly ones that I, you know, I thought would be ugly like this or this. They look better in general. So now we already have eight different variations. I probably wouldn't use about three of them out of these eight. Then let's go ahead and continue. Let's click a different uh, button. So I'll click on Playtune. So Playtune is a model that will shift the way that the art is looked at. Now, it brought it automatically bound down to 50 again. I could always increase it, like let's say you know, 73 or something for the next batch. But keep in mind what takes what makes a piece of art take longer is two things the uh, to be created, the quality and details and the image dimensions. The smaller it is, the faster it will be created. The larger, uh, the more quality, the longer it will take. So this is Playtune, and that was on a 50 quality. Let's go ahead and bump that up to 72, and let's go ahead and run that again. <clears throat> 
Also keep in mind that depending on the model you use, it will take longer as well. Now the biggest drawback behind using AI art is the time it takes to create. Now you guys might be saying, what are you talking about the time it takes? It doesn't take any time. Well, it doesn't take any time compared to actually drawing it, right? Which is cool. I, I like that. This is actually a really good image. These are really good images. I feel like they all have their own, their own uh, style right really cool images here okay next thing we could use is let's see let's look here let's go to storybook why not right and i think storybook is actually going to come out really good and once again after every time i select the models it downgrades it back to 50 i'm actually going to go for the next one a little bit higher to 77 but back to what i was saying the um all right some really good ones here as well this is once again the storybook one let's see what we get again when we run the the same thing um but anyways when you do this guys uh you can obviously there's alternatives right instead of doing the ai art you can use an image bank right an image bank where they have pre-created images for you and that's much much faster now i'll tell you between me and you if i had virtual assistants that were responsible for uploading ai art i'd much rather just have them go to an image bank instead because the reality is is for them to sit there and start creating their own prompts and crafting their own negative prompts and the whole thing is just not realistic for me. It's going to take way too much time to uh, train them uh, to get that done. So for me, it's not realistic to use AI art for them. And this is my whole concept is that I always work on speed and efficiency. And for me, it's cool and fun to sit here and create images for myself. But at the same time, I have to keep myself focused on the work that's at hand. So this was the Playtune model. Um, I think we used poly mode last. That's what it was when we uh, we didn't use Playtune. We used poly mode right here. And these were examples of Playtune. I can go ahead and, and bump this up a little more. You can see here that how the images just changed all of a sudden. This is probably the best one or the most related to what I was looking for so I can increase the quality slightly and then what I could do is increase the image strength here right and you could see here already guys we got I mean easily over 20 different variations of images that are actually usable right here so if you're worried about you know having to take too long to create images if you're in a situation where you just want to create a bunch of good looking images for a certain style just like this do this right create all these different variations based on the model so here you can see we got a whole bunch of different images again and every single one of these images in my opinion like here are more than good enough to be made money off of through print on demand right and so once again i'll switch the model so let's go to um let's go to dreamhaven let's see what happens there and like i said it, the software has a habit of Every time switching the model going down to a 50 quality, but that's really no big deal. Okay, and I'm going to actually increase the uh, brightness on my on my computer here so we can see a little bit better. But um, some really unique stuff going on here, right? Some really unique stuff and we can up the quality a little more and uh, the image strength is already good enough. And we could see different results. And if you like a certain style, you could just consistently create variation after variation after variation by adding one word or removing one word to the prompt. In terms of the negative prompt, if the image style is good enough, I would not sit there and create any more of, of the... Uh, I wouldn't play around too much with the, the, the negative prompt. Now, notice here, when we increase the quality, the, the style of the image that we wanted with the bird kind of disappeared, which is interesting. You know, it's odd. So I could always increase the image strength again, which, by the way, for anybody watching this, if you're worried about what instrument image strength is, it just means how strong the characteristics of the image will be held onto the creations of the photo. All right. And really, there's just so much untapped potential with this kind of stuff. And so let's just see here what we created. We have uh, we have uh, let's see here. We have the. Do we have another set of photos? We do. Like, look at this photo. Look at this photo. Look at this photo. So many different things. I can switch, again, the model one more time just for the sake of this video. Let's go to oil painting. Let's hit generate. And, of course, it went back to 50 again. And then for the next creations, let's go to, like, 77 and see what happens. And uh, we're just waiting for this last set here. But you could see in this small conversation that I was having with you guys, I had a ton of different images here. So once again, in my terms of like efficiency, 
Uh, for a virtual assistant, I would not give them AI tools to sit there and work with. I'll just be 100% honest. Um, because they're on my time and they're on my dime, right? They could spend hours just trying to create the perfect one image. Um, this is the, like I said, this is the oil painting one. And we'll go ahead and give it one more. But they're on my time, they're on my dime. And they could easily make excuses saying, you know, it, it takes hours to create the right image. Uh, but if it's me personally, I'm sitting behind the screen and I know what I'm doing. Um, and I recommend everybody do this, play around with a little AI, create some cool images, and make that good money. All right, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll, By the way, uh, real quick, I'll leave the, um, the prompt and the negative prompt in the description box down below if you want to go ahead and try this exact piece of art. Um, and, uh, yeah, go ahead and give it a shot. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. I'll also leave other AI image related videos in the description box if you're interested in seeing them. All right. Peace out. Bye.